Hello students. In today's video, we are going to understand in brief the entire concept of signal transduction pathways or transducer mechanisms. A quick overview of the entire concept. Now this video is 8th in the series of videos on pharmacodynamics. Now signal transduction is a process by which an external signal received by the cell is converted to a cellular response. Look at this figure. Signal transduction is a process by which a signal that is communicated to the cell by a ligand which can be an endogenous substance or a drug is converted to the cellular response. Now signal transduction or cell signaling has three stages. Now the first stage is the reception of signal reception of the signal in the form of a ligand. Second is the transducer, that is the process by which the message which is brought by the signal or the ligand is communicated throughout the cell. And the third is the cellular response. So let's first talk about the reception. Now first is a reception whereby the target cell receives the signal. So this is a target cell. The target cell receives the signal. Now signal is mostly chemical in the form of a ligand. That is, uh, for example, it can be it can be a hormone like for example insulin. It can be a neurotransmitter like uh, acetylcholine or adrenaline. It can be an autocoid like for example histamine. So these chemical signals like insulin, acetylcholine, histamine, etc., are termed as ligands. These are also termed as the first messengers because they are the one which are bringing the message to a cell. So the ligand binds to its receptor on the target cell. Now as soon as a receptor receives the signal in the form of a ligand, this receptor undergoes a conformational change and it gets activated. And it's ready to transmit the signal or the message brought by the ligand inside the cell. Now let's talk about the transduction mechanism. Now in majority of cases, the activated receptor activates an enzyme located in the cell membrane. Uh, let's say that the enzyme is adenyl cyclase. So this enzyme is activated. Now this activated enzyme mediates release of second messenger, for example cyclic AMP, that is cyclic adenosine monophosphate in the cell. Now this cyclic AMP further activates an enzyme uh, like the protein kinase. So PKA uh, stands for activated protein kinase enzyme. So this protein kinase enzyme is very important. It further phosphorylates and thus it activates multiple enzymes and proteins in the cell by a process that is termed as the phosphorylation cascade. So this phosphorylation cascade activates thousands of enzymes and proteins within the cell. Thus second messenger and activated proteins and the enzymes produced in the cell as a result of transduction amplify and further relay or further transmit signal inside the cell. So chains of these molecules that amplify and relay or transmit signals in a cell uh, are termed as signal transduction pathways or transducer mechanisms. And finally, this signal transduction, it triggers cellular response. So cellular response is triggered. So this is how an external signal which is brought uh, by a ligand is converted into the cellular response, is converted into a physiological or pharmacological response by the cell. Now a signal transduction pathways or transducer mechanisms are highly diverse and are highly specific to each receptor, each signal or ligand and to each type of target cell. Now tra transducer mechanisms can be grouped into five major categories. 
First is the G protein couple receptors. Second is the ion channel receptors. Third is the transmembrane enzyme linked receptors. Fourth is the transmembrane jack stack binding receptors. And the last is the receptor signaling or receptors regulating gene expression. Let's talk about each category of these transducer mechanisms one by one. Now, first type of uh, transducer mechanism is the G-protein coupled receptors. Now, G-protein coupled receptors are the receptors that are linked to the effectors like for example, enzymes, ion channels, carrier proteins through G-proteins. Now, these G-proteins are GTP activated proteins to produce the response. Now, there are three pathways by which G-protein coupled receptors produce cellular response, namely adenyl cyclase pathway, then phospholipase C pathway, then ionic channel regulation. Now let's talk about each of these pathways one by one. Now first is the adenyl cyclase pathway. Now in this, the enzyme adenyl cyclase is activated and this mediates release of cyclic AMP that is cyclic adenosine monophosphate as second messenger in the cell. Now beta adrenergic receptor is a G protein coupled receptor and uh, that produces its action by adenyl cyclase or cyclic AMP pathway. Next is the phospholipase C pathway. In this uh, the enzyme phospholipase C is activated and this activated enzyme further produces inositol triphosphate and diacyl glycerol as second messengers in the cell which further amplify and which further transmit the signal in the cell to produce the response. For example, histaminergic H1 receptors are the, uh, produce their action by this phospholipase C pathway. Now the third pathway by which G protein coupled receptors produce their action is uh, uh, by regulating the ion channels. Now activated G proteins can open or they can also inhibit calcium and potassium channels to produce the cellular response. Now for example GABA, uh, GABA is the gamma aminobutyric acid, it is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. It acts uh, on G protein coupled receptors and uh, it uh, inhibits calcium channels uh, and thereby it inhibits the excit excitability of neurons. Now second type of transducer mechanism is the ion channel receptors also called as the ligand gated ion channels. Now here ion channels are enclosed within the receptors or ion channels are incorporated within the receptors. Ion channels are present within the receptors. Now as the name, now these ion channels are not regulated by G proteins, but these ion channels are present uh, within the receptors. Now as the name suggests, uh, ion channel regulate movement of ions like sodium, potassium, calcium and chloride across them. Now binding of ligand to these receptors induce opening or closing of these channels. For example, nicotinic cholinergic receptors are uh, ligand gated ion channels. Now third type of transducer mechanism is transmembrane enzyme linked receptors. Now as the name suggests here uh, the receptor on its, on its intracellular surf surface it possesses enzyme uh, generally protein kinase and response is produced when the ligand binds to the receptor. For example insulin epidermal growth factor they produce their action by binding to transmembrane enzyme linked receptors where enzyme is tyrosine kinase. Now the fourth type of uh, transducer mechanism is transmembrane jack stat binding receptors. Now many cytokines growth hormones prolactin produce response uh, through these type of receptors. Now fifth type of re uh, transducer mechanism is uh, receptors regulating gene expression. Now steroidal hormones like for example glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids, androgens, estrogens, vitamin D, 
produce their response through these type of receptors. Now we will discuss each one of uh, these five uh, different transducer mechanisms one by one in detail in uh, our series of videos on pharmacodynamics. So this is in brief a quick overview on the concept of uh, transducer mechanisms and their different types. If you find the video useful kindly like subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.